Hello. Test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... Sixteen. Days. And... Four. Decades. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Good luck. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. The choice is yours, however, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way to exit the chamber. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually.
These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. Nice try, but bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. You did it again. To clarify, you cannot take a cube from the present with you to the future for the last time. This is physically impossible. Please stop trying. This future version of the cube can be moved freely without affecting its counterpart in the present. It will stay wherever you leave it as long as the present cube's destiny is not altered in any way. Good. Please continue to the next chamber. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, Everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. And now, for the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents The Triple Portal Device Go on, pick it up. The gun on the pedestal 
This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Good! Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Nicely done. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Outstanding! Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some time portals of your own? Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. Great! The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Well done! Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline.
you create your own solution, which is great. Technically, you are supposed to do something else. But who cares anyway? Keep going. If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals or where you left the cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. If at any point you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. Remember the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section? Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. In case you were curious, no, we cannot make infinite clones of you because of the stupid rules of quantum mechanics. Only once you die can we take your atoms and recreate your body for continued perpetual testing. These lasers should provide a fun change of pace. Please be aware that some test elements may only be functional in one timeline. Great! By now, you might be wondering how it is possible to hear these automated messages regardless of which timeline you're in. We implanted a small device directly into your brain. That way, you can hear these messages as if they were the voice of your own conscience. Well, they practically are, considering how much of your cerebral cortex we had to remove to make this work.
things are about to get a little more complicated in the next chamber. But don't lose hope. Think about this. As long as you don't see your own corpse lying in the future, it is safe to assume that you solved the chamber sometime during the last 20 years. You solved it. And you were pretty quick about it, too. Great work. We tried many times to open a passage to the future, but this connection exactly 20 years from now is the only one stable enough to last longer than a few microseconds. The second half of this testing course is located below you. Unfortunately, no elevator can take you there, so you will have to take the stairs. That works too. might have noticed that something is not quite right here. Remember when we told you that the decay of the facility was completely intentional? Turns out, that was a lie. There is a bigger picture here. Your test might be the most important one ever conducted. For now, let's just try to get back on track and keep going.
Well done. Since the catwalk to the next chamber appears to be non-existent, you can rely on the power of aerial faith plates to get you there. This next chamber should really test your observation skills. Take a good look around first and then decide what to do and in which order. Outstanding! You are the first test subject to ever make it to this point. In fact, you are the first test subject to ever survive a trip to the future. At all. These light bridges are great for traversing over deadly ground. As with the lasers, you will often only have one of these at your disposal, so use them wisely. Good thinking. With all this talk about time travel, do you ever question the meaning of it all? Do your actions have any consequences? Or are we all just following the deterministic path of the universe? Here's a fun experiment. Listen carefully. The next thing you will do is jump in three, two, one. It appears that nothing is predetermined or in any way predictable.
You are a very smart test subject. If the universe really was deterministic, we would have already known the outcome of this test, which might make this compliment seem unnecessary. If you feel that you have been receiving too many compliments, feel free to ignore the previous statements. Good news! We found a way to make these turrets more durable. They should now also work in the future. Most of them, anyway. Should you find a defective turret in the future, feel free to mark this as a flaw in your test report. Nicely done. And don't worry, you won't encounter any turrets between the test chambers. Except for these ones. At this point, you might rightfully be asking yourself why we put you through all this. This testing track was built as a failsafe. My job is to ensure that testing can continue, no matter the circumstance. You see, this facility is largely controlled by one entity. For some reason, this entity seems completely unresponsive. 20 years from now. That's why the future looks the way it does. We have lost all control, and we need to find a way to restore it.
Well done. You have proven yourself to be quite capable. Keep going, and you might actually fulfill your true purpose in all this. You are in the home stretch now. Only a few more chambers until this testing course is over. Time to introduce the last new testing element. These Aperture Science Excursion Funnels will mostly work in both timelines. Have fun exploring all your options in the next chamber. The time-bending technology used to create these time portals is only stable in one specific configuration. We cannot choose the exact point in time to which the time portals will lead. We can only take a small glimpse of what the facility looks like 20. years from now. What exactly transpired is still unknown, but the data we collected points to a single rogue test subject. In the event that something horrific were to happen to this facility in the future, my protocol is to find a viable candidate that can withstand the effects of time travel on the human body and help to rectify whatever led to the tragic events of the future. That's where you come in. We need you to stop this test subject dead in its tracks and save the facility.
Welcome to the final chamber. Don't get overwhelmed. Take everything one step at a time, and you will soon find the solution. Astonishing. You really did it. You've proven to be capable of nearly anything. Now it's time for your real mission. We will put you back in stasis until the day of the incident, and you will be the one to prevent it. This vacuum tube will take you back to the long-term human storage vault. You will be awoken when the time comes to use your special abilities to save this facility from its impending doom. Warning, you are going the wrong way. Please be aware that escaping is not an option here. You are far too important. If you won't go voluntarily, we will be forced to destroy your current body in order to put you back together in the stasis chamber. But this will be a small price to pay in order to help save the facility. Think of it as a sacrifice to science. Thank you and goodbye. Warning, you are deviating from your path. Facility power has reached critical levels. Connection unstable. Don't 